Time for a new DS2 run, baby. Doing the Puzzling Stone Sword. Dark Puzzling Stone Sword. So I don't know when I'm actually going to go for it yet. I'll probably get one Great Lord Soul, and then I think I'll go to the Rotten. Because I'm going to need souls to get the Cat Ring. Need like 13k for that. Plus, we got to get like kind of far into the DLC. Don't have to kill any bosses in the DLC, but I also need a bow. Class. We'll start at Knights because it starts with the Broadsword. Gift. Healing Wares. This healing is cool. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I don't want to. <laughs> we'll do, uh, we'll change some things, though. Change the hair. Hair color. Some dark red hair. It's very surprised eyebrows. Maybe we'll change that. Do we, are there angry eyebrows? Oh, well, these are angry. Yeah, I would spend more time in the Dark Souls 2 creator like this if the sliders were faster, but they are pretty damn slow. Eye color, also red. Everything is red. It's not really what I thought would happen, but that's fine. I was trying to make a very angry looking character. There we go, that's better. Getting better. Pissed. Pissed off. So much we're not spending a lot of time here. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting pissed. Getting heated. I don't think I've seen an angrier character. But eye spacing. Make it, uh, more narrow. Is that like angry or no change? I can't tell. How do you change the skin color? Can't remember. We'll do that and then we'll be done. Just want something weird like green or something. Oh, too bright. But like more blue. It's not very blue. That's definitely not blue. Yeah, this isn't really working. Not how I want it to. I guess we're green. This is good. This is my true self. I actually made myself. This is what I look like in real life. So I guess Dragon Rider first. We're pretty much leveling everything on this build except for Vitality. We're going dark, so we need 30 int and faith. We want 40 dex, because this is a dex scaling weapon. It has like actually insanely good dex scaling. S scaling. And then what else exists? Vigor, yes. Endurance, yes. Strength. I don't actually need any more. I think I need 11 to power stance, and that's what I have, so that's good. Attunement will get 30. ADP will get. Or no, sorry. Attunement 10. ADP 30. But I do need a bow. I don't think this character starts with a bow, so we can get one from Lenigrast. Because you need a bow to activate the the switches. For uh, There's some switches in the first DLC to get this weapon. Well, I will get you. Don't think I need Mullen for anything. Let's hope not, because he's dead. Snag this. Don't need him for anything. I meant like armor or something. Like if I needed him for armor. But I wasn't planning on using any specific set in this run. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I've done two Dark Souls 2 runs since the last time I streamed Dark Souls 2. So I've done like two runs in the last four months, basically. Ice cream so good. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that until I said it. Still can't get over how angry this character is. She's pissed. Oh, yeah, Seldor is set. Oops. One, two, three, and four. Doesn't look angry? Really? You don't think so? That looks pretty angry. Back with dinner, what do you have? I didn't look up to see whether this sword is a uh, Twinkling Titanite sword or not, actually, now that I think about it. I'm guessing it is, but honestly, I have no idea. Your favorite food of all time, which is what? Kebab. Spaghetti bolognese? That does sound good. No baby jump, hooray. And now we wait. I think I waited a little too long, but I think we'll be okay. Maybe not. Oh, no, we're fine. 
The meat is in the sauce, not some balls nobody likes. Dude, you don't like meatballs? Meatballs are great, but so is meat sauce. Hello, Lisha. Purchase this. I always forget to get this in new game. I just end up killing her. Now we kill her. Wake up, or get up. She's already awake. She has an unreasonable amount of health. I remember when you didn't kill her? Me too. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> that is not what I was trying to do there. Don't hit the wall, please. That's all I ask of you. Damn it! Is that a stamina? The heck is that? There we go. Easier to do double fists. Yeah, it probably uses less less uh, stamina. Hmm. Thinking. If I have the cat ring, I still don't think I can survive a fall here. Blah 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 blah. My item, cat ring. Dragon Rider Soul, don't need this. And I don't know if this is going to do anything for me, but I will pop it. 200, wow. That's right. Let's see if we can survive this drop. Can't ring. I still got to do Gulch Giants too now that I think about it. So I probably, you know what? We're not doing this now. <laughs> I might get plus three, or actually I could probably get higher than that. I can get like plus five on this thing and then we'll go to the Rotten and the Gulch Giants. Hooray, Scholar. It's like the one downside. Got to do the stupid giants. It's more than one downside to Scholar. I'm not saying there's not. But having to kill the giants to get into the DLC is definitely a downer here. I think the best thing about Scholar, though, is the fact that you get like all the DLC included, like by far. Also, I'm assuming if you play online, we didn't they get rid of the vanilla DS2 servers? Or something, or they're shutting them down, or they did shut them down. Am I correct on that, or am I making that up? March 31st. But they're keeping Scholar up, right? Also, isn't it just for, like, older consoles? Which I guess would be everything. Because if they probably shut them down for PlayStation, I imagine they shut them down for PS5 as well. Oh, just 360 and PS3. Oh god, okay, yeah. I forgot that that's when this game came out. Uh, I have money for one firebomb, I think. Talk to her first. Alrighty. One shot at this. That's all I needed. Let's go. Yeah, I leveled Vigor because I was like, I was gonna go down the pit, and then I just, I'm like, wait a minute. Gulch Giants with a plus zero weapon. No thanks. Stop. Oh, this is bad. Am I actually gonna live? Wow. How the heck did that happen? Quit out so the enemies reset to the original positions. Nice try. I know what game we're playing. PS2 does not have that? It does not. You also can't quit out in midair. So if you fall to your death, you die. Can't take the cowardly way out. Quitting out. Tui. Bones. Alright, Pursuer. PS2 is simply the best game on this planet. 
Not just DS2, but the Scholar Edition. We scoff at vanilla DS2. Spit at it. If it was so good, they wouldn't have made Scholar. That's the way I see it. No, oh, come on. Uncalled for. I got an arrow in my cap. And my hip, probably. Eh, maybe should have done this, but it's fine. No! Wait, it still hit him? What the hell? That's, this is an insane hitbox. Well, I guess we got one. That's fine. I can live with that. There goes the ballista. Victory achieved. Crazy. Do that. So yeah, now I think we'll get plus five and we'll go do Belch Giants. Well, hopefully we get good barrel RNG because I have no fire bombs. I do have four homeward bones. Well, it'll be three after I get the fragrant branch here. DS3 had, or DS2 had a lot of. Uh, Cool mechanics, though, that they just, like, never went back to. Like, the invisible hollows here. They're around the, the world. Like, right here. Look at that guy. Never seen again. 34,000. Okay, don't die. It'd be so easy to just, like, slip and fall to your death. Oof. That's rough. What's my ADP at? Like, six? Nine. Look how experimental DS2 is? Same. I feel like it doesn't get enough praise for that. Dude! That's unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna go buy more firebombs. And I guess level up. I should probably save some souls though for large shards. I probably won't need these now, so that's going to be great because the next barrel is going to go and explode that wall. Let's go maybe 27. That's a lot. What do I need to upgrade? I need if I get six large shards, that's going to be I think 15K. So I'm going to need more than this. I'll do like 25. I feel like Elden Ring revisited some of those mechanics. What, uh, do you just mean just being experimental in general? Or, like, anything specific? Actually, I probably only need to buy, like, three shards. Four shards. That's all right. I can level again, because we're going to go back to Majul anyway. Please be nice, Barrel. Sometimes it rolls so slowly, and then it's still enough to, to get it through. Dual wielding more environmental interactions. That's true. Yeah, I'm very happy they brought back dual wielding. Here you go. All right, reinf actually, hang on. Let me get the, uh, I need these shards. So yeah, does anyone know if this is a twinkling tight end weapon? I think it might be, which means I'm probably gonna need to move him. That's no problem. All right, let's see. Buy... I think I need four of these. Oh, I need... Wait, I have four? Did you get two in that chest? No, I think I, get, I got three. I think, actually, I don't know. Whatever. I need way less than I thought I did. Plus five, plus six. It is twinkling. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling. I guess we're going back here then. I need to also... I think I can get a bow from Lenigrast. I don't know if McDuff has one, so we'll just do this. Do that. Uh, you know what? I'll get what I need here. I'll level up, and then if I have money left over, I'll get some life gems. 
Wait, hang on. Isn't there a bow in here or something? Short bow, that'll work. Where's DS2 in your personal ranking? Hmm, maybe like fourth. I probably like it more than most people, because I think most people would put DS3 above DS2. DS3 has better gameplay, I think, but DS2, I like DS2's world more. And build variety. What am I doing here? Arrows? Do you have arrows? Arrows made from wood. I do not need that many. I'm gonna take like 10. Like DS3 has very, very polished gameplay compared to DS2. But uh I don't know, I just love the world of DS2. What do we want here? ADP is probably always good. I think Vigor's fine where it is. Endurance is solid. Don't need to worry about decks. This will work, I think. Maybe a little less ADP, maybe more endurance. Halfway through the run, Four Kings win as expected. Well, that's good. Was expected bad, though? Like, what were you expecting for Four Kings? Have any other rings? I've covered a Silver Serpent ring. I think DS2 really shines with the DLCs, too. But I think most people probably don't even get to them. There's some meme -y things going on in the DLCs, though. Don't get me wrong. I think anyone can agree with that. I love DS3, but I feel like it's full of safe choices. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, too. Not very well, but I actually beat them in four attempts. That's not too bad. If you have low damage for four kings, like, that fight can take forever. It is not fun when it takes forever. And you're just, like, trying to fend off four kings at a time. But I get it, though, man. If you can't get past the gameplay of DS2... Like, how slow it is, and, like, you just, you won't like it. No DLC is gonna change that for you. And for a lot of people, I think that's, you know, just how it is. Frigid Outskirts? Yeah, I don't know if anyone likes that place. <laughs> I'm sure someone does, but... I've seen, like, a number of first playthroughs of DS2 where they're like, I'm doing all bosses, except that one. <laughs> You know, I don't blame people for not wanting to do it either when it's just like Ava, but two. And you have like a horrendous run back. But don't say you're doing all bosses if you're not doing the one boss that... Well, I guess it's one of many. It's not the not the one boss of anything. It's a 96.7% uh, a bosses run or something like that. I don't know what the percentage would be. Most bosses. <laughs> Everything but double cats. Any percent, no, all bosses, no frigid outskirts. Percent. Oh. Please be nice. Thank you. There's 20 life gems down here, luckily, so I can get more of those. Hmm. Can't go through that, unfortunately. It's a one-handed moveset on this, just some side slashes, side to side, okay. Everything except Frigid Outskirts, Ancient Dragon, Dark Liquor, and just all the DLCs in general. DLCs are good, man. It's just like the meme side areas that are not as good, but I feel like the level design in the DLCs is good in all of them. Compare, especially compared to the base game. Like, the level design in the base game is very linear a lot of the time. Rigid Outskirts is awesome. Yeah, that's how you know it sucks. If Flix is praising it... <laughs> Flix is a hardcore contrarian. That won't hit me, right? Uh, honestly, I'm surprised that one didn't hit me. This damage is not great. This is a plus six weapon, by the way. Yeah, we'll get there. It's fine. Yes, those are good, but I'm just not experienced enough in DS2. Yeah, see? That's how I am with Bloodborne. That's why I complain about Bloodborne sucking all the time. Because I'm not experienced with it. I only really rage at Bloodborne in the moment, though. Like, I think it's fine. Although there's still things that I don't like about it. Oops, that was a bad roll. I 
Okay, these guys have ridiculously bad hitboxes. This is not a good example of something good in DS2. It's a cool mechanic, needing like the forgotten key, but like, man, these hitboxes suck. I'd argue Bloodborne's the best in this series. I think a lot of people would, honestly. Bloodborne is pretty beloved by a lot of people. And I can see why. It's not my favorite, but I can see why people love it so much. Jesus Christ. These hitboxes are atrocious. I also have like no ADP, that does not help. Even still though, there will be like a visible gap between their giant stone clubs and you and you will still get hit. The other guy's almost dead. Can't be bothered to buy a PlayStation for just one game. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend. I don't think there's any game that good. That's worth spending hundreds of dollars for. Like you need to have more than one game to to like make it worth buying, I'd say. He's dead. Guess five for two games then? Hey man, I got God of War Ragnarok too. I got three games. I got a couple other uh, PS5 games. Got Baldur's Gate on there. Judgment and Lost Judgment even though those came to PC. The thing is, like, eventually most games come to PC and then it's like, what's the point? Okay, we're done here. How's the run going? It's going all right. All right, back to Majula. Street Fighter's not a PlayStation exclusive, is it? Cat ring still on. Down we go. I have one homeward bone. Where did Malachi has some, right? I'll have to buy some or get 18 faith. Antenna Tunement. Wait, oh yeah, Shalquar has them. Okay, let me, uh, I'm gonna get some of these. Actually, we have 43. I'll get like 10. And one Bright Bug. And then some Homeward Bones. Then we got the run and we'll enter the DLC. Six, that'll work. Do that. Did I ever get the thing over here? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Another oh, Estus shard. Is that a... Yes, it is a shard. You may see it. And then I gotta burn this. Look at all the fire that just came out of that bonfire. We're totally fine, by the way. Unharmed. Oh, you know what? These guys, the um, the big worms, I think they actually dropped the Puzzling Stone Sword. Although I don't know if the ones in the base game do. I think the ones in the DLC do. Not sure about the ones in the base game. But I think I looked that up. Or when I looked it up, I think I saw that they dropped it. Either that, I was looking up something else. Honestly, don't remember at this point. Oh, that was kind of close. We're so close. So close to DLC. I actually got the uh, thing. Neat. 
I want to pick it up right now, but I also want to kill him first. I think that'd be smarter. Big Nova. Man, he deals like such little damage compared to New Game Plus. If I had this amount of health in New Game Plus, I would have probably died from that attack. Brother, you can't attack me with a stump. You can't reach. He's got a new hand and a new lease on life. Not for very long, though. Pick that up. There's Lockstone. Now we can go get this weapon. Let me throw on the bow and the arrows. I should probably level up first before we actually go get this thing. Because uh, I feel like I'm not going to be able to take much damage here. Although I have like almost 30 vitality. I think I'll be fine. Rigor, whatever it's called. Either way, I'm still going to level first. I don't think I can power stance these yet. I mean, it's, I'm not even close to that point because I still need to get through New Game Plus or into New Game Plus for a second one. But I think I need like one more dex and I can power stance them. Can I run, please, Sin? You want to stop shaking literally everything? All right, back here. Actually, there's probably like a decent amount of Twinkling Titan in the DLC, isn't there? I'm pretty bad with knowing where like any Twinkling Titanite is in this game. Do more decks, get some more endurance, do more of this. Clarity is fine. I don't think I'm going to upgrade Vigor anymore. For a new game. Show decks. I also need to get into End Faith equally, but I think I'm just gonna work on 18 Faith so I can get homeward. Got a lot of levels to get. A lot, a lot, a lot. Alright, back here. Oh, with the bow, one thing I can do that I never do is I can shoot the, the switch from a distance. All of the switches, really. But. That works. Seems a bro. I only wish you did it more than once. Imagine having five doors to the entrance of your house. That's what that's like. All right. Will you aim again? Oh God, that's not how you aim. It's in my left hand, so it's backwards. Too high, or is that fine? There we go. Second Lord Soul? We did four kings first? Just to get it out of the way or what? So now, this is where I get confused. There's two switches I have to hit. I think one is at the end of here. And then there's like one on the ceiling of that, maybe? Is this the room with the stairs? Yeah, okay, so that's right. Oh, great. Might have been too high. I figured the arrow was going to drop, though. Actually didn't. Oops, hang on. Okay, I don't like the fact that this builds up poison when... Uh, When I'm backstabbing, that's not cool. Pressure plate. Nice try, buddy. Did four kings first, but I do them, do all them unconsciously, but I do see last. Okay. I mean, four kings first makes sense, though. Because you can go do Koth and get to the Violent Altar. I think it's faster, honestly, doing that than running to Framt or down through that pit. Here it is. Boom. Let's see it. Stab. Stab. Interesting. Okay. So the R2 is the whip. Is there an L2 or is it block? That's parry. That's block. Is there a uh, R2 combo? Oh, you just keep spinning. 
That's wild. What about one-handed? Oh, that's sick. Interesting. I almost don't want to power stance it. I feel like it's going to ruin it. Because you're probably going to get locked into, like, the straight sword moveset or something. I still will, but we can do, like, more. We can still two-hand even if we're power stancing. We'll just, you know, two-hand. It's not that hard. It's pretty cool, though. All right, that's acquired. We can go upgrade it one time. I can get one Twinkling Titanite. And honestly, I can probably get more, but I just, I never remember where there even is Twinkling Titanite. I guess it would be better because I usually forget to place the Lord Vessel. Yeah, exactly. So you can take Framped to place it. It's only really a bummer, I guess, if you need, not Framped, Koth, but if you need Framped for something, then you kind of lose him. One Twinkling Titanite. All right, let's go do Rune Sentinels. And then I'm probably going to pull up a wiki page so I can see where the hell to get more Twinkling Titanite. I wouldn't be surprised if those chests that I broke in that room when I was trying out the R2 had Twinkling Titanite, because I think there's a decent amount in DLC 1. What was the follow-up there? And it's a straight sword, too, so it gets, like, a pretty quick moveset. Oh, look at the uh, sword that's just dancing right there. Now let's just kill this guy. Thank you. Open the door. Open the door better. Thank you. And then, what was I going to do? I don't know. Can't remember. Take the bow off. That's what I was going to do. Bow, arrows off, bow off, into Foggate we go. Their ability kind of goes down pretty quick, though. Actually, no, it probably went down from before. I like the two-handed poking. That's kind of nice. Do this. Oh, you do like a little poke after. Okay, interesting. So is Fencer Sharon in the game? Because Fencer Sharon uses this uh, this weapon. Was she in vanilla DS2 or no? Did she get added after DLC? It's a cool Musa. Oh, nice try. Wow, it still did the jump attack just like after it fell or something. That was weird. I feel like that poke doesn't do much, though, at the end. All right, we'll go down. Definitely get hit there. That's fine. Still fine. Just popping pills here. Sorry, life gems. Not pills. Never pills.
The damage is not great, but it's also only a plus one, so... And I have, like, not very much for decks right now. A little bit of twirling. Oh, you can only do two. I thought he'd be able to go forever. Apparently not. I just want to look at this sword. Can you hold it up, maybe? Not, not possible. Yeah, you can kind of see the grooves between each section. It's pretty neat. It's a very cool looking weapon. It's like the predecessor to the threaded cane. Okay, we'll go level up. Seek, seek list. It's got more decks. Oh, I guess I had more decks than I thought. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I want to get homeward, so we'll just do this. Let's just get faith. As high as we can. Two more faith, I need. Well, we're going to go to 30 faith and int, but we won't have that for a while. Then we'll go to Sinner's Rise. Bit of a slower start, and honestly, I don't even think it's that much slower, because normally I don't do the rotten first. Like, normally I'm in Iron Keep, but that doesn't include the Rotten, so... It's hard to say. We'll probably be done with New Game in, like, three hours. Oh, you know what I should've got, to? I just thought about it. I should've got Flynn's Ring. I still could, but... I also gotta go back for DLC and New Game Plus, so I might just wait till then. But it would be faster to do it now. Well, it would be... it would not be faster, actually, to do it now. But it would make the run faster, which might be worth it. Don't know, I can't decide. I think I'll wait. I think weapons like this for like the time of DS2 were probably just like, you know, very cool. But I feel like now you almost expect there to be things like this, right? Or like the Bone Fist. But now you expect to have like these wacky weapons because FromSoft's just done like so much with weapons since they started making them, I guess. Like how I just bullied this guy out of the way. 